Republican senators introduced the Employees' Rights Act. We'll take a look at that one next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. Saying anyone whose real concern is preserving the rights of individual workers should support the Employee Rights Act, which addresses many issues plaguing Americans in the workplace, Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah introduced the bill of which he was the lead sponsor. The bill calls for the following. It would require unions to get written permission from members before using their dues for political purposes, which they are already prevented from doing except for get out the vote actions and offering written support of candidates for office. Of note, unions are forbidden by federal law to give direct financial contributions to candidates for office. That must be done through voluntary PAC contributions. Additionally, the bill proposed would mandate a recertification vote of a union following a significant turnover at a workplace to determine if the union still holds a majority of support from workers. An open invitation for corporations to change job titles and replace certain department duties in order to manipulate a vote. The bill would also nullify an Obama-era ruling shortening the time frame between union authorization to act votes and certification votes. Senator Hatch continued saying the comprehensive workers' rights bill does not include a single provision that empowers employers at the expense of unions. Well, it doesn't seem like that. And that the Employee Rights Act is not a Democrat or Republican issue. Yet the Senator Hatch's co-sponsors are Lamar Alexander of Tennessee, James Risch of Idaho, John Cornyn of Texas, Johnny Isaacson of Georgia, Ted Cruz of Texas, Pat Roberts of Kansas, Todd Young of Indiana, James Langford of Oklahoma, Tim Scott of South Carolina, Dean Heller of Nevada, Marco Rubio of Florida, Richard Shelby of Alabama, David Perdue of Georgia, and Ben Sasse of Nebraska. They're all Republicans. Now you may wish to contact your senator about this issue directly. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minutes.